<sighs> that was barely worth the effort, Adagio. I'm tired of fast food. I need a meal. The energy in this world isn't the same as in Equestria. We can only gain so much power here. Oh, I wish we'd never been banished to this awful place. Really? I love it here. For realsies? Because I think this place is the worst. I think you're the worst, Sonata. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're... Ugh. I'll tell you one thing. Being stuck here with you two isn't making this world any more bearable. Equestrian magic. But this world doesn't have equestrian magic. It does now. And we're going to use it to make everyone in this pathetic little world adore us. Want some help? Uh, no thanks. We're good. Oh, okay. Sunset Shimmer! Over here! <sighs> I had no idea the whole school would be here. Quite the eye-catching advertisement, if I do say so myself. And it smells like cake! It does? I use frosting instead of paste! Uh, Flutterjot, you've got a little something, uh... Did I get it? <laughs> Not exactly. Good afternoon, students. I just wanted to tell you all how pleased I am that so many of you are going to participate in the first ever Canterlot High School Musical Showcase. <laughs> this is a wonderful opportunity to raise money for all our after school programs here at CHS. So keep working on those signs and posters. I think it's going to be one of the most exciting events we've had at CHS since the fall formal. Uh, 
I am never gonna live that down. You were pretty bad at the fall formal. A demon. I turned into a raging she-demon. And tried to turn everyone here into teenage zombies for your personal army. Oh, darling, you have us. And we've forgiven you for your past <clears throat> boo-boos. To be honest, I'd say the whole experience brought everyone at Canterlot High closer than ever before. One, two, three! There was a time we were apart, but that's behind us now. See how we've made a brand new start, and the future's looking up. Oh, oh. And when you walk these halls, you feel it everywhere. Yeah, we're the Wonder Colts forever. on our own but now you walk these halls and friends are everywhere yeah we're the wonder colts forever oh yeah we are all together now it's better than ever now that we are back on track yes i'm so glad that we're better better than ever happens when we play. Ooh, I've got to look into some new accessories. Something that looks good in a longer ponytail. Ooh, maybe some clip-on earrings for when I get those adorable pony ears. I just wonder why it happens. Princess Twilight took her crown back to Equestria. Shouldn't that mean she took all the magic back with her? Who cares why it happens? It makes my band totally awesome! Oh, your band? Duh! It was my idea to start the Rain Boom so we could be in the showcase. Plus, I'm the lead singer and guitarist. Uh, heard you outside. You guys are sounding really tight. Uh, we're getting there. Rarity's still coming in a little late on the second verse, and Applejack's bass solo could use a little work. They'll get it together in time for the showcase. Uh, I don't suppose any of our friends from uh, out of town might come? Uh, it being a special charity event and all. Sorry, Flash. I don't think Twilight's gonna be back at Canterlot High anytime soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I just, you know, thought I'd ask. Uh, keep on rocking it! Well, someone is quite the smitten kitten. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always forget you and Flash used to be an item. It's okay. Flash is a great guy and all, but I never really liked him, liked him. I was just using him to become more popular. Ugh, the old me really was just awful, wasn't she? Mm, sorry. <laughs> yep. But the important thing is that you've turned yourself around. Uh, thanks, Applejack. But I'm not sure everyone else at CHS feels the same way. Sunset Shimmer, please report to the main foyer. Gotta run. I volunteered to show some new students around the school. Thought it'd be good for them to get to know the new me before they heard all the stuff about the old me. We've still got a few minutes before lunch starts. What do you say we do awesome as I want to be? Um, Rainbow Dash, I was wondering if we could maybe play the song I wrote. We'll get to it. Oh, okay. Hi, are you the girls I'm supposed to show around? We are. Canterlot High is a great school. You're really gonna love it. Oh, yes. We really sense there's something magical about this place. That's the science lab. Computer lab is in there. Oh, we're having a big musical showcase this weekend. The whole school is pretty much rallying around it. A <gasps> um, musical showcase? I'm sure since you're new, Principal Celestia would let you sign up if you're interested. We have been known to sing from time to time. Hello! 
we sing like all the time. It's how we get people to do what we want. <clears throat> what, what did I say? What you meant to say was that being in a musical showcase sounds like a great way to meet other students. Oh, yeah. What you said I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. And what you would have said if you weren't the worst. You are! You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty. Where did you... <laughs> Sorry. These pendants mean an awful lot to us. We just hate for anything to happen to them. So, how was the tour? I don't know. I mean, these girls, they were... There was something off about them. Like off like this? Or off like this? Or, or, oh, like maybe we should just let her tell us? That's just it. I can't put my finger on it. They just acted sort of strange around me. Maybe someone already talked to them, told them about what I did. Oh, so much for making a good first impression. Uh-huh. Oh, that's probably not it. This is it, girls. The moment we've been waiting for. Lunch? Oh, the chance to get our true equestrian magic back. Oh, right. Our voices are just strong enough to make them want something so badly, they'll fight to get it. So we're just gonna do what we always do? Stir up some trouble and then feed off the negative energy? Some plan, Adagio. It won't be the same as the times before. There is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. But we can get lunch after, though, right? It's Taco Tuesday! Just follow my lead. Or my lead. My lead.
Those three are definitely in possession of some kind of dark magic. How else could you explain what happened back there? Don't worry, y'all. We let Principal Celestia know all about this, and those girls will be kicked to the curb in no time. Last thing she needs is another CHS event almost ruined by some power-crazed lunatic. Uh, no offense. <sighs> None taken. Dark magic? I find that very hard to believe. Those girls came into my office earlier and were absolutely delightful. <laughs> Perhaps Sunset Shimmer is just eager to make someone else out to be a bad element, so that her actions at the Fall Formal will become old news. I could see why you might think that, but... That's not what's happening. We saw all of this go down in the cafeteria, too. Yes, but isn't your band supposed to be part of the musical showcase? Yes. Perhaps you're all just worried that the Dazzlings will steal your spotlight. The Dazzlings? It's the name of their musical group. That's why they came by my office earlier to sign up for the showcase. Even sang a little song to Vice Principal Luna and I. They did? Yes. And we think having a battle of the bands instead is a marvelous idea. I can't believe they got to Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna, too. They've gotten to everybody. Not everybody! Pinkie Pie's right. We were there when the Dazzlings were singing, and we weren't affected. It was like we were protected somehow. So let's take them down! It's not like we haven't tangled with dark magic before and totally whooped it sorry, but... Uh, no offense. <sighs> None taken. Again. But that was when Twilight was here. There may be some kind of magic inside us, but it only comes out when we play music. I sure don't know how to use it to whoop anybody's butt. Oh, if only we could get a message to Twilight. Maybe she could tell us how to break the spell the Dazzlings have cast on our friends. Well, that's not gonna happen. The portal's closed. <gasps> and I get the feeling they don't exactly have cell phones where she's from. I may have an idea how we can get in touch with Princess Twilight. When I was Princess Celestia's student back in Equestria, she gave me this. Even after I abandoned my studies, I held on to it. Deep down, I guess I knew I was making a big mistake, and I wanted to still have a way to reach out to her. Maybe it still works. That's a book, darling. What do you mean, maybe still works? It used to be that if I wrote something here, it would appear in the pages of a book back in Princess Celestia's library. I get a message to her, then she can get a message to Princess Twilight. So what are you waiting for? Get to writing! Huh. Been a long time since I've written these words. Dear Princess Celestia. Excuse me, Princess. Where do you want all these books from Princess Celestia? The library. Third door on the left. Even this one that's glowing and vibrating? What is it, Twilight? It looks like a message to Princess Celestia from my friends at Canterlot High. How is that even possible? I have no idea, but it sounds like they need my help. The way Sunset Shimmer described them, I think these new girls sound an awful lot like the Sirens. Not the Sirens? I don't actually know what that is. The Sirens were three beautiful but dangerous creatures who had the power to charm ponies with their music. 
But to maintain this power, they had to feed on the negativity and distrust of others. The more of this negative energy they consumed, the stronger their voices became, and the farther they could spread their dark magic. I don't think I like this story very much. If the Sirens had their way, they would have divided and conquered all of Equestria. But a certain star swirl of bearded wasn't having it. Rumor has it, he found a way to banish them to another world. One where he believed their magic power would be lost. That world must have been the one where my Canterlot High friends live. But Star Swirl must have sent them there ages ago. How come they're just surfacing now? I don't know, but if my hunch is right, and it is the Sirens who've come to Canterlot High, this spell they've cast is just the beginning. My friends need me. I have to get back to them. I hate to burst your bubble, Twilight, but the connection between their world and Equestria will still be totally cut off for a super long time. Okay, first of all, if there was bubble blowing going on, why wasn't I told about it? And secondly, if the connection is totally cut off, how was Sunset Shimmer able to get a message to Twilight? <gasps> Pinky, you're a genius. Yeah, I get that a lot. Now about those bubbles. Find is the square root of the sum of the squares of the separation between the points along three spatial dimensions. Say what now? Duh! She's gonna take the magic in here and put it in there. That'll make the portal open up so that whenever she wants to, she can go from here to there. There to here. Here to there. Here to there. Here to there. Here to we get the idea. Now to see if it actually works. Suppose we could join you this time around? Better not. It could make things pretty confusing if Canterlot High all of a sudden had two of all of you. Whoa. Oh, right. Right. But I still get to go, right? There isn't another one of me at Canterlot High, and you never know when you might need your trusty assistant. Mm-hmm. Yes! We won't be gone long. Oh, well, you'll be safe there. there. And don't forget to dress well. Ready, Spike? Ready! She's not coming. Twilight! Ooh, I'm back. Oh, Twilight! Twilight! And I've got some bad news about those new girls. to return in a time of crisis. We have so much catching up to do. For starters, a certain blue-haired guitar player was just asking about you. Flash Sentry was asking about me? <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Perhaps you could give us just the slightest bit of gossip from your world? She's got an official title now. Da -da -da -da! The Princess of Friendship! Wow, that's really impressive. Guess you really were Princess Celestia's prize pupil. She's even got her own castle. A castle? You have your own castle? Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, lovely. 
What's new here? I mean, besides your school becoming the target of dangerous magical creatures from Equestria. Yeah, so that isn't exactly the only strange thing that's happened since you left. Pretty sweet, huh? It happens to all of us when we play. Hmm. My crown was returned to Equestria, but some of its magic must have remained here at Canterlot High. Now that we're all back together, we can use that magic on the sirens. Just like when we were able to use it on Sunset Shimmer when she turned into that horrifyingly awful winged monster! No offense. None taken. <laughs> I'm used to it. They'll never even know what hit them! We've got nothing to worry about now that Twilight's back. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could find something to worry about. But it won't be the sirens. The sooner we do this, the better. Any idea where the Dazzlings might be? <sighs> There's a big party tonight for all the bands who signed up to be in the showcase. That would include the Dazzlings. Looks like we've got a party to crash. I'm gonna get more punch. Twilight? Uh, bumped into always doing. Uh, what are you doing here? You came back for the big competition, right? Something like that. <laughs> now that there's gonna be any real competition, no one here wants this as bad as my band does. Can you excuse me for just a minute? Oh no! No one's mingling! It's like there's some kind of underlying tension that could bubble to the surface at any minute. It's a fruit punch, isn't it? Too much grape juice. It's not the fruit punch, it's us. But the punch is awful, too. What do you know about good fruit punch? More than you. Do not. Do too. This is just the kickoff party, girls. Imagine what a tizzy they'll be in by the time the Battle of the Bands starts. There isn't going to be a Battle of the Bands. We're gonna make sure of that. All right, girls, let's do this. Friendship is magic! <laughs> uh, weren't there rainbows and lasers and stuff last time? I don't understand. We're all together again. Why isn't this working? You, uh, really need to go ahead and do that whole magic of friendship thing now. I'm trying, Spike. I thought the six of us standing together against the sirens would bring out the magic we needed to defeat them. That's what happened before. Talk about throwing down the gauntlet. This group is obviously serious about winning. A little cocky, though, aren't they? Claiming there won't really be a battle. Seems they think they've already got this thing all locked up. Not if the great and powerful Trixie has anything to do with it. Whatever, Trixie. We're the best band at CHS. No, the Crusaders are gonna win. I think we may have found what we're looking for. Or rather, it found us. Magic! Don't you see? Everyone else has fallen under our spell. But not these girls. These girls are special. It 
doesn't make any sense. I should have been able to create the spark that would help us break their spell. That's how it worked before. But to defeat me, you drew magic from the crown I was wearing. The Siren's magic comes from their music. So maybe you have to use the same kind of magic to defeat them. Or maybe not. No, I think you're onto something. Really? It's when you play music that you transform now, right? Yep. Ears, tails, the whole shebang. So maybe the way to use that magic to defeat the sirens is by playing a musical counterspell. You mean, like a song? Uh-huh. And in order to free everyone who's been exposed to the siren spell, we'll need them all to hear it. Hmm. <gasps> the band competition! That's the next time we can be certain everyone will be in the same place at the same time. Guess the Rain Booms are the band to beat. And I believe you, Twilight, just became the Rain Booms' newest member. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to play? Triangle? Sousaphone? There a man? So magical. I might take a little too long to learn how to play something with these. I'll just sing. Like, as in lead singer? Because that's usually my gig, this being my band and all. It's our band. And of course is lead singer. She's the one with the magical know-how to help us pull this thing off. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I'll just use this as a chance to hone my already insanely good lead guitar skits. It's only temporary, and we don't have to win the battle of the bands. We just have to perform during the first round of the competition. So let's get to learning that musical counterspell. Well, that's just it. I don't know any. Aww. But I'm sure I could figure out how to write one. Totally. Twilight can write a spell like it's nobody's business. And that's pretty much how she got to become a princess in Equestria. Technically, I helped finish a spell. And there was a little more to it than that, Spike. Yeah, whatever. I've got this. Come on. Where are you going? Well, last time we were here, Spike and I spent the night in the library. Are you crazy? We're besties now. Slipper party in my house! Status update. Okie dokie, Loki. I doubt it. So, Twilight, how is that counterspell coming? Huh? Oh, uh, good. Great. Thanks for letting me use your notebook, Fluttershy. I really like the song you wrote for the Rain Booms. Thanks. <sighs> Hopefully one day we'll get a chance to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight, I think I speak for all of us when I say I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't come back to help us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, that's not gonna work. Hey, Twilight. You're up late. Just looking over the counterspell. We only get one shot at this. It has to be perfect. We really are lucky you're here. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Who could possibly need this much whipped cream? Must be nice to have everyone always looking to you for answers to their problems, instead of waiting for you to cause a problem. Just because everyone expects something from you, doesn't mean it's guaranteed to happen. But that doesn't stop them from expecting it. 
which only makes things harder because the last thing you want to do is let, let everybody, everybody down. down. Boulder was hungry. I still can't get over the fact that she's related to Pinkie Pie. You and me both. <sighs> I better get some sleep. Good luck with the counterspell. Not that you'll need it. This must be nothing compared to the stuff you're expected to deal with as a princess in Equestria. Sunset Shimmer? Never mind. It's not important. No. I have to be able to do this. I have to. Five times you played it? <laughs> nope. Ugh. I think it's pretty obvious what's going wrong with this counterspell. You're turning what should be the chorus into a five minute guitar solo? I have to pick up the slack somehow. Are you guys even trying? I'm trying. It's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. One more time from the top. Or perhaps we could take a short break. Try on some of the wardrobe choices I've put together. I'm particularly fond of this one. Uh, of course, we could always go with something a bit more modern. We're trying to save our school here. Enough with the costumes. Oh, you can never have enough costumes. She just wants to make things fun. Isn't that what being in a band is supposed to be? You don't have time for any of this. You're supposed to check in at the Battle of the Bands in 15 minutes. <gasps> what? Oh, no! no! But... But it's not ready. If we play the counter spell in the first round and it doesn't work, the sirens will know what we're up to and make sure we don't get a chance to play it again. Then we'll have to buy ourselves some time so you can keep working on it. And how do you propose we do that? We compete in the battle of the bands for real. I take over lead vocals again and we stay alive until the finals. We unleash the counter spell then. You'll have figured it out by the finals, right? Of course she will. Twilight Sparkle's never met a problem she couldn't solve. Right, Twilight? Right. Then let's go win us a battle of the fans. Welcome to the first ever Cantalot High School Battle of the Bands. I believe I speak for everyone when I say it is by far the greatest thing we have ever done here at this school. We are so glad our three newest students encouraged us to turn this event into something exciting. But as this is now a competition, we can only choose one winner. Who is it going to be? You feel that, girls? Our true power is being restored. <laughs> <laughs> and that's before we've tapped into the strongest magic here. But the rain blossoms, or whatever they're called, aren't under our spell. How exactly are we supposed to get to their magic? The rain booms are just as capable of falling apart as anyone else. They just need a little push in the wrong direction. 
I have a feeling everyone here is going to be lining up to give them a shove. Oh yeah, Snips and Snails in the house, yo. They call me MC Snips, and there ain't no lie. My favorite food is like pumpkin pie. I'm Gigi Stazzy Snails. I like whales. When I go to the beach, I always bring my pails. Everybody knows my favorite color is orange. My rhymes are so fly, they're better than, um... Than an orange, yo! Yeah! Yeah! Represent! <laughs> What do we, uh, what do we, we do get now? off the stage and I, I can leave right now? <laughs> Bam! That just happened! Oh yeah! We get out! Get snails out of here! Please do not drop the microphones. Yeah! Bam! <laughs> in your face, rain booms! Least we know one group who won't stand in the way of us getting to the finals. Let's get ready to rock! Wait! Where's Rarity? Oh, here! I'm here! <sighs> we will be performing in front of an audience. I'm not going to wear something fabulous? Hmm. Yeah. Remember, we have to be good enough to make it through, but not so good we let the sirens see the magic within us. They could realize we plan to use it against them. Got it! Be cool enough to win, but not so cool that we end up showing off the whole ears and tails and rainbows thing. So... about 20% less cool. One, two! We've just got the day to get ready. And there's only so much time to lose. Because tonight, yeah, we're here to party. Of something fun to do We don't know What's gonna happen We just know It's gonna feel right All our friends are here And it's time to ignite The light Shake your tail Cause we're here to have a party tonight Shake your tail Shake your tail Shake your tail Cause we're here to have a party tonight Shake your tail Shake your tail if you didn't insist on dressing like, like this. We need to sound good. Is there some reason that concept seems to escape you? And what was with the confetti, Pinkie Pie? How am I supposed to shred if there's paper stuck in my frets? It was pretty distracting. Ah, says the girl who was running from a light the whole time. A light! You still sounded much better than most of the other bands. I'm sure you'll make it to the next round, but it won't matter if you don't have that counter spell ready. You all find a place to practice where the sirens can't hear you. I'll keep an eye on things around here. I 
I don't think we should use a classroom. <laughs> we really need to stop bumping into each other like this. Uh, you guys hear something? Mm -hmm. Uh, nope. I said, we have to stop- There it is again! So annoying. Why are you acting like this? I thought we were friends. Yeah, and then you decide to come back here just so you could beat me in the Battle of the Bands. I want this, Twilight, and you're trying to take it from me. Some friend. That's not why- Come I... on, Twilight. We've got things to do. You really think you're gonna help them? <laughs> I bet you have no idea what you're even doing. <laughs> Tears already? This is only the first round. <laughs> <laughs> the next band to take the stage will be Trixie and the Illusions. Better head back. We're supposed to go on after Trixie. You're never going to get away with this. Why? Because you didn't? Oh, we know all about you, Sunset Shimmer. You've got quite the reputation at Canterlot High. I've changed. I'm in a much better place now. Waiting in the wings while your friends have all the fun? Oh, yes. You girls are so tight. And yet, they didn't ask you to be in the band. Probably afraid no one would want to see them play if she was in the group. Too bad. So sad. If it's any consolation, no one is going to remember you at all by the time we're done. Remember, girls, we want to save the good stuff for when our full power has been restored. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, you didn't know that you fell. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, now that you're under our spell. Blindsided by the beat, clapping your hands, stomping your feet. You didn't know that you fell. Oh, now you're falling under our spell. Unless you think the counter spell is ready to be played now. Don't worry, Twilight. Finals aren't until tonight. We'll get in a little more practice before we're supposed to hit the stage. We won't let you down. Oh, yeah. yeah! You won't let me down. Um, I was just wondering. We haven't played any of my songs yet, and... It's the semifinals. We gotta do awesome as they wanna be. Don't know why I even asked. I got tricks up my sleeve. See me dominate, cause I'm powerful and great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. You're never going to top that performance, Rain Goons. You shouldn't be allowed to when you have such a big advantage over the rest of us. My superior guitar playing and off the charts awesome singing voice? Of 
Don't be ridiculous. I mean her. If you were really all that, Rainbow Dash, you wouldn't have needed to bring in some magical ringer to have half a chance. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> Please! I could win this thing as a solo act, and everybody knows it. <laughs> sure you could. <laughs> She's gone! Oh, wait. There she is. Next up, the Rain Booms. Knock them dead, Rain Booms! I'll be here. Just watching. Guitar shredding up my latest tune There is nothing you can do to beat me I'm so good that you can't defeat me Yeah, I'm awesome, take caution Watch out for me, I'm awesome as I wanna be I'm awesome, take caution Watch out for me, I'm awesome as I wanna be Now that's the bad girl we love to hate. I knew she was still trouble. The real Sunset Shiver is back. No, it isn't like that. What was that? You were showing them your magic. I, I didn't know what else to do. Uh, close the curtains, unplug her amp, give us a chance to deal with the situation? I'm sorry, I just wanted to help. Yeah, well, you did it. None of this would have happened if you weren't trying to show off, as usual. Good show, Rain Brooms. I especially like the part where Sunset Shimmer, in a fit of jealous rage, knocked out Rainbow Dash mid-guitar solo. It wasn't a fit of jealous rage! If you say so. Ooh, looks like they've already decided who'll be moving on to the finals. I'm guessing it wasn't too difficult a decision. What can we do? There isn't going to be another opportunity for us to play. And I had the most gorgeous outfit for the finals. Yep, because that's the real tragedy here, Rarity, that you won't get to play dress up. You know perfectly well that is not what I meant. You guys want to keep it down? They're about to announce who's moving on. Who are you kidding? You know it isn't going to be us. The band that will be joining the Dazzlings in tonight's finals, the Rain Booms. What? Huh? What? Did they just say the Rain Booms? This isn't over. Congratulations, girls. You deserve it. Seriously? We didn't even finish our... See you at tonight's big show, Rain Booms. We are really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, not as much as we are! This never should have been you, Rain Booms! Travesty! A travesty! It really is! The Rain Booms don't deserve to be in the finals. Not when your band was so much better in the semis. And wanted it so much more. Alas, this is the way it's going to be. Dazzlings versus Rain Booms. Unless, of course, the Rain Booms don't manage to make it to their set. Or held up for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> Check, one, two, testing, testing. Testing! This doesn't make any sense. We were awful. To 
Doesn't anybody else think it's strange that we're the ones that made it to the finals? Very strange. What are you doing here, Trixie? Pretty sure the losers are supposed to be up there in the cheap seats. The great and powerful Trixie is the most talented girl at Canterlot High. It is I who deserve to be in the finals. And I will not be denied. <laughs> <laughs> See you never! <laughs> Told you someone would give them a shove. She didn't shove them. She pulled the lever. Ugh, go back to sleep, Sonata. You better believe I got tricks up my sleeve. And I captivate, cause I'm powerful and gray. Yeah, yeah. Tricks up my sleeve See me dominate Cause I'm powerful and great <laughs> Give it up, Rainbow Dash You've been trying at this for hours It's not gonna open Maybe it doesn't even matter that we're trapped down here I don't think the counter spell would have worked anyway Of course it would have worked, Twilight Assuming a certain band member didn't try to hog the spotlight the whole time we were trying to play it. Hey! If you want to tell Twilight she's getting a little too caught up trying to be the new leader of this band, you don't have to be all cryptic about it. She was talking about you, Rainbow Dash. Me? I'm just trying to make sure my band rocks as hard as it needs to. Our, Our band! band. But why wasn't it working? I should know what to do. How can I not know what to do? How can I have failed like this? It might have been your idea to start a band, but it's not just your band, Rainbow Dash. I'm the one who writes all the songs. I write songs. You just never let us play any of them. I had the most perfect outfits for us to wear. Again with the costumes. No one cares what we're wearing. I care, Applejack. So sorry if I enjoy trying to make a creative contribution to the band. Hey! Anybody here remember fun? I'll give you a hint! It's the exact opposite of being in a rainbow! I wish I'd never asked any of you to be in my band! I wish I'd never agreed to be in it! Me neither! started this band, you've been letting little things get to you. I never said anything because I didn't feel like it was my place. Not when I was so new to this whole friendship thing. I still have a lot to learn, but I do know that if you don't work out even the smallest problems right at the start, the magic of friendship can be turned into something else. I can't believe all this tension was happening right under my nose and I didn't realize it. I'm supposed to be the one with all the answers. And all I've done since I got here is let you down. I don't think anyone is supposed to have all the answers. 
But you can count on your friends to help you find them. I think you already have. Come on, we need to get out of here. Spike! Sorry I took so long. I had to find somebody who wasn't under the siren spell to help me get you out. Why isn't she under their spell? Never takes off her headphones. Come on, y'all. Time to prove we've still got the magic of friendship inside us. And there's only one way to do it. We're getting the band back together? We're getting our band back together. Oh, which version of the counter spell are we going to play? I don't think it matters what song we play, as long as we play it together as friends. I know just the song. Fluttershy's written a really great one. Hmm. We're about to save the world here. Personally, I think we should do it in style. Rarity? I thought you'd never ask. Your 
never gonna bring me down You're never gonna break this part of me My friends are here to bring me around Not singing just for popularity We're here to let you know why these were so special to them. Without those pendants and the magic you brought here from Equestria, they're just three harmless teenage girls. Rain Boom's rule! That was amazing! <laughs> <laughs> you may have vanquished the Dazzlings, but you will never have the amazing, show-stopping ability of the great and powerful Trixie! <laughs> She's gone! Oh, wait. There she is. Trixie's okay. You know, Twilight is going back to Equestria soon. The Rain Booms could really use someone to help Fluttershy on backup vocals. <laughs> I also play guitar. We'll see. Sure wish you could stay longer. Me too. But I have responsibilities in Equestria that I have to get back to. Its citizens need me. But now... I can go through the portal whenever I need to. This isn't goodbye. It's just goodbye till next time. Ready? Ready! Dear Princess Twilight, missing you already and hope you'll be back soon. Things are definitely looking up for me here at Canterlot High, but I know I still have a lot to learn about friendship. Hope you don't mind if I write to you for advice when I need it. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. You ready or what? Ready. Princess Summit. You must be over the moon, Twilight. Oh, I am excited. But to be honest, I'm a little nervous too. You're nervous excited! It's like you want to jump up and down and yell, Yay, me! But you also want to curl up in a teeny tiny ball and hide at the same time! We've all been there. I'm there almost. 
almost every day. You got no reason to fret, Twy. Everything's gonna be just... Twilight! Oh, sorry, darling. But I just realized you're not wearing your crown. You haven't forgotten it back in Ponyville, have you? It's in my bag. Just feel a little self-conscious about wearing it. I haven't really gotten accustomed to these yet, either. You are a princess now, Twilight. Embrace it. I'm telling you, if I had a crown like that, I would never take it off. Why, I'd sleep in the thing. Her Highness, Princess Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Twilight! I haven't seen you since the coronation. We have so much to discuss, but it can wait until tomorrow. You all look tired from your journey. Now off to bed, all of you. What's wrong, Twilight? I don't know, Spike. I'm just worried, I guess. Princess Cadence was given the Crystal Empire to rule over. What if now that I'm a princess, Celestia expects me to lead a kingdom of my own? That would be awesome! No, it would not! Just because I have this crown and these wings, it doesn't mean I'll be a good leader. Not sure you will, Twilight. But come on, you should get some shut-eye. Big day tomorrow. <sighs> Can't talk. Ugh. Just trying to get comfortable. What?
sorry it had to be this way. Princess. <gasps> Who is that? Sunset Shimmer, a former student of mine. She began her studies with me not long before Twilight. But when she did not get what she wanted as quickly as she liked, she turned cruel and dishonest. I tried to help her, but she eventually decided to abandon her studies and pursue her own path. One that has sadly led her to stealing your crown. She replaced Twilight with this one. I suppose Sunset Shimmer thought you wouldn't notice right away that this was not yours. And by the time you did, it would be too late to go after your crown and element of harmony. But I don't understand. Where did she go? Where did she take the crown? You'll soon know more about this place than even I do. This is no ordinary mirror. It is a gateway to another world. A gateway that opens once every 30 moons. Sparkly! It has always been kept in the throne room of Canterlot Castle. But when Princess Cadence took over the Crystal Empire, we sent it here for her to watch over. I had always hoped that Sunset Shimmer would someday use it to return, to come back to Equestria seeking my guidance. Obviously, this is not what has happened. Twilight, you must use the mirror to go into this other world and retrieve your crown. Without it, the other elements of Harmony have no power and Equestria is left without one of its most important means of defense. Your crown does not belong in the place Sunset Shimmer now calls home. And in her possession, your element of harmony will no doubt be used to bring harm to the inhabitants of this other realm. They will not have the power to defend themselves. You understand the importance of your task? Of course. Good. Then you must go at once. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa! She's going... We're going with her. Right, girls? Ooh, I'm so nervous, Cider! You do realize that's not a real word, right? I'm afraid I can't let you go. What? Why not? Sending all of you could upset the balance of this alternate world, creating havoc that would make it impossible for Twilight to get the crown back from Sunset Shimmer. This is something Princess Twilight must do alone. Time is of the essence. On the third day, when the moon reaches its peak in the night sky, the gateway will close. And once it does, it will be another 30 moons before you will be able to use it to return. Don't it's all right, worry, Twilight. Worry, you'll, you'll be back right. before you know it. Great. We need to find my crown as soon as possible and get back there. I suggest we start searching the castle first. Works for me. Yeah, I don't think that's how the new you is supposed to be. Come on, Spike. I do not 
want to be like this for longer than I have to. Well, look on the bright side. You don't have those pesky wings to worry about anymore. Magic. It isn't working. Makes sense. You don't exactly have your horn. What? We really need to find you a mirror. What do you think, Spike? Other artifacts she's stolen from Equestria? <gasps> what am I? Okay. I don't think this is a castle. I've never seen a place that's quiet like this. Everything is turned around. This crazy world is upside down. Getting on my feet, it's the hand that I was dealt. But I don't have much time with them. Well, I did, and I was about to get it before you swooped in and ruined everything. You shouldn't pick up things that don't belong to you. It, it doesn't really belong to you either. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. That's what I thought. It's as good as mine, and you know it. You really are pathetic. It's no wonder your best friends are all stray animals. How dare you speak to her that way? What did you say? I said... How dare you speak to her that way? You must be new here. I can speak to anyone any way I want. I can't believe you did that. I couldn't just stand there. Well, it's just that nobody ever stands up to Sunset Shimmer. Sunset Shimmer? You've heard of her? Sort of. I don't think I've seen you around before. Did you just transfer to Canterlot High from another school? Um, yes. Another <laughs> school. My name's Twilight. I'm Fluttershy. Sorry, what was that? It's Fluttershy. It sounds like you're saying Fluttershy, but how can that... Oh my goodness! Who's this sweet little guy? That's Spike. My, uh, dog. Oh, he's so cute. Go on, eat up, little pup. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you just give anything to know what they're really thinking? He usually just tells me. Oh, wh what do you mean? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Sunset Shimmer said you picked something up. Something that belonged to her. It wasn't a crown, was it? How did you know? Uh, lucky guess? Do you still have it? Mm-mm. But you know what happened to it? Mm-hmm. 
This morning, I was passing out flyers for the animal shelter like I do every Wednesday. Canterlot's animal shelter needs more volunteers. Won't you help an animal that can't help itself? I have no idea how it got there, but I didn't want anything to happen to it, so I decided to give it to Principal Celestia. Principal Celestia? If she's the ruler here? You could say that. Technically, I guess she and Vice Principal Luna do make the rules. Where is she now? Probably in her office. Third door on your left. Thank you! Oh, wait! You're not really supposed to have pets on school grounds. Might want to tuck them into your backpack. That's what I do. They just get so lonely when I'm at school all day. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm late for class. Come in. How may I help you? Um, uh... My name's Twilight Sparkle. I'm new here and, well, I understand that Fluttershy found a crown this morning and gave it to you. Yes, I've had Vice Principal Luna put it somewhere for safekeeping. No idea how it ended up on the front lawn. Were you interested in running for Princess of the Fall Formal this year? Uh, no, not exactly. The truth is, well, the truth is I, you see, the crown is actually... Princess of the Fall Formal? It's Canterlot High's big fall dance. Like the Grand Galloping Gala. A Grand Galloping Gala? Oh, uh, it was a big deal at my old school. And was there a princess? Yes, but she wasn't exactly a student. Here at Canterlot High, the students select one of their peers to represent them. She receives her crown at the Fall Formal. Hmm. You asked me if I was interested in running for princess. Can anyone run? Yes. You just need to let the head of the fall formal planning committee know you'd like to be on the ballot. Was there anything else? Um, nope. That was it. Well, if you do need anything else, my door is always open. Twilight, why didn't you just tell her the crown was yours and ask for it back? Oh, I was going to. But imagine if one of them showed up in Equestria saying they came from a place filled with tall, fleshy, two-legged creatures with these. We'd think they were crazy. Hmm, you make a good point. Looks like if I want my crown back, I'll have to become princess of the Canterlot High Fall Formal. So that's what I'm gonna do. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? I have no idea. <laughs> I know we've just met, but I was wondering if you might be able to help me with something. Of course! I've decided to run for Princess of the Fall Formal and... <gasps> oh, oh, gosh! Sorry, it's just... Oh, running for Fall Formal Princess is a really bad idea. Why? Sunset Shimmer wants to be Fall Formal Princess. And when she wants something, she gets it. She'll make life awful for anyone who stands in her way. Just ask the girl who ran against her for Princess of the Spring Fling. I have to try. Oh, I don't think you understand. You'd have to convince everyone here to vote for you instead of her. The athletes, the fashionistas, the dramas, the eco-kids, the techies, the rockers. Why is every pony... Uh, everybody separated this way. Maybe it was different at your old school, but at CHS, everybody sticks to their own kind. One thing they do have in common is that they know Sunset Shimmer is going to rule this school until we graduate. Not if I can help it. So, uh, huh, where would I find the head of the party planning committee? Fluttershy said she'd probably be in here. Incoming! <gasps> Hi, my name's Twilight Sparkle and... 
Pinkie Pie? <gasps> Are you psychic? Uh, no. I don't think so. Unless, of course, that's something you can do here. Uh, not usually. Fluttershy said this is where I'd find the head of the Fall Formal Planning Committee. Fluttershy, huh? Don't let the whole shy thing fool you. She can be a real meanie. You two aren't friends? Waited a bit to get your name on the ballot, huh? Dance is day after tomorrow. I'm brand new here. Ooh! I thought you didn't look familiar. So, now that I'm really looking at you... Do you have a twin sister who lives in the city? Has a pet dog named Spike that looks just like that one? Uh, maybe? Thought so. Anywho, you just need to fill this out and you are officially up for the coveted princess of the fall formal crown. Wow! You have really bad handwriting. It's like you never held a pen before. <laughs> Is it? Somebody order a dozen cases of fizzy apple cider? Oh, oh, me! Me, 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 me! Yeah, uh -huh, me! Can you bring in the rest? Yep. Hey, I know you. You do? Sure. You're the new girl who gave Sunset Shimmer the what for today. Twilight Sparkle here is gonna run against Sunset Shimmer for Princess of the Fall Formal. I'd think twice about that. Oh, sure, she'll probably approach y'all friendly like. <laughs> I sure am looking forward to some friendly competition. That's so good to hear. But then, here comes the backstabbing. About the only girl at this school you can trust less than Sunset Shimmer is Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash? She's the captain of, like, every team at Canterlot High. She's also the captain of saying she's gonna do something for you and then turning around and not even bothering to show up. Thanks for the advice, Applejack. But this is something I really need to do. Huh? Suit yourself. Hey, how'd you know my name was Applejack? Um, I, uh, <laughs> didn't you say? Mm, nope. Well, uh, it was sure nice meeting you both. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. That one's trying to hide a secret, but I am totally onto her. She's psychic! Uh-huh. If you say so. This looks terrible! There should be more streamers near the stage and fewer balloons. Yeah! Streamers! And fewer balloons! Fizzy apple cider? Ugh, this is my coronation, not a hoedown. Well, now, it ain't necessarily gonna be your coronation this time around. Oh, is that so? You country folk really aren't that bright. Must be why the other students say such awful things about you. <sighs> Obviously, it's gonna be my coronation. I'm running unopposed. Not this time. The new girl just signed up. What? I know. Her handwriting is really bad. Where is this Twilight Sparkle? Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting the competition. I can't believe I didn't recognize you earlier. Should have known Princess Celestia would send her prized pupil here after my crown. And her little dog, too. It's my crown. Whatever. This is just a minor setback for me. You don't know the first thing about this place, and I already rule it. If that's so, why do you even need my crown? You went to an awful lot of trouble to switch it with the one that belongs here. Pop quiz. What happens when you bring an element of harmony into an alternate world? You don't know? Seriously? <laughs> and you're supposed to be Princess Celestia's star student? Then again, what were the chances she'd find some pony as bright as me to take under her wing after I decided to leave Equestria? Bit embarrassing that you were the best she could do. Oh. 
And I keep an eye on your mutt. Hate for him to be taken away from you. Is that a threat? Oh, of course not. <laughs> but I'd cut down on the chatter if I were you. Don't want everyone to know you two don't belong here. Now would you? You want to be a princess here? Please. You don't know the first thing about fitting in. I want you to follow her. Bring me something I can use just like you did with that last girl who thought she could challenge me. You got it, Sunset Shimmer. When the crown and its power are mine, Twilight Sparkle will be sorry she ever set hoof into this world. Not that she would have been much safer if she'd stayed in Equestria. <laughs> yeah, in Equestria. What are you still doing here? Go! No! Oh. Butter crackers. Voila! Sunset Shimmer is right. I don't know the first thing about this place. If I'm gonna really fit in and win votes, we need to do some research. Research? This place has a school. I have to believe it's got a library. Got your phone? Got yours? <laughs> so, I just push the letters here, and then the words and moving pictures will come up here? <sighs> That's right. Maybe this place does have magic. When you're a younger <sighs> girls, what are you doing? We're just seeing how many hits our new music video has gotten. <laughs> no, it just no. The school computers are for research purposes only. It's just as well, y'all. Some of the comments about our song were really awful. Epic fail. Funniest thing I've ever seen? Funniest thing they've ever seen, huh? Uh, I don't know that that's what you should take from... where we're gonna sleep tonight. Way ahead of you. It's a little <coughs> dusty, <coughs> but it doesn't seem like anybody comes up here. It's perfect, Spike. So, how did your research go? I found this book. It's called A Yearbook. It seems to be something they use to keep a record of things that have happened at the school. Look, that's Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Fluttershy, and I'm gonna bet the girl on the far right is Rarity. There's a Rarity here? Uh, I mean, uh, interesting photo. 
It's interesting because they look like they're friends. They do look like our friends, but I thought we'd figure that out already. No, I mean, they look like they're friends with each other, but it doesn't seem like they're friends now. Not so much. I just can't help but get the feeling that Sunset Shimmer had something to do with it. I wouldn't put it past her. But she wanted your crown, because she's planning on doing something even worse. If you're gonna stop her, you have to focus on making friends here. You can't worry about why these girls aren't friends anymore. Even if they do remind you of your Ponyville friends. You're right, Spike. Ah, eye on the prize. Good morning, students, and happy Thursday. Just a reminder to pick up your ballots for the Princess of the Fall Formal today. They are due by the time the dance starts tomorrow night, so don't forget to turn them in and make your voice heard. Fluttershy said I'd need to win over all those different groups if I want to become Princess of the Fall Formal, so I've compiled a list of talking points. <laughs> you made a list? <laughs> That's so unlike you! <laughs> uh, please, continue. I'll start introducing myself, sprinkle in some things I've learned about their world into the conversation, show them how I fit in here. <sighs> okay, Spike, time to make a good first impression on my fellow students. The whole world sort of depends on it. Hey, look. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me funny? No! Oh. What are you... What are you... Rarity? Perfect! Oh, yes, this is good. No one will recognize you. Why wouldn't I want to be... And we'll need a disguise for your dog. Which is too bad. He really is so adorable. You know, with a little work, I think I could make him look like a rabbit instead. Huh? A rabbit? There you are, Twilight. So much for the disguise. I've been looking all over for you. Me too. Me three! I like your new look. I do have an eye for these sorts of things. Not that you seem to care. What? Why do you think she doesn't care? <laughs> No, never mind. Why are we all looking for me? What's going on? Oh, she hasn't seen it yet. Seen what? Oh, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Twilight Sparkle wants to be your fall formal princess. But what does it say about our school if we give someone like this such an important honor? Yesterday, at the library. Has everyone in the school seen this? Is that why they were all looking at me that way? Mm. What am I gonna do? No one is gonna vote for me after seeing this. Not that it'll make any difference, but I'll still vote for you. You were so nice to stand up for me when Sunset Shimmer was picking on me yesterday. If you still wanna run, maybe there's something I can do to help. Word of advice? Don't accept her help. She doesn't take anything seriously. Uh, why do you have to be so awful to me? Oh, <laughs> don't play innocent Pinkie Pie. You are no better than she is. And what is that supposed to mean? I am happy to offer up my assistance as well. To someone who would appreciate what I have to offer. Which you have to offer? I have to offer. I have to offer. I have to offer. Listen to y'all carrying on. Get over it and move on. You mean like how you've gotten over what happened with Rainbow Dash? She said she'd get the softball team to make an appearance at my bake sale. I tell everybody they're coming, and then not one of them shows up. She made a liar out of me. That's different. It is not. It's two. I All of you. I want to show you something. You were friends once. Hmm. The freshman fair. Y'all remember? Yes. But something happened. I think that something was Sunset Shimmer. 
Well, it's a nice theory, darling, but Sunset Shimmer had nothing to do with it. She's right. Sunset Shimmer isn't the one who ruined my silent auction for the animal shelter by bringing fireworks and noisemakers. It was supposed to be a serious event, and Pinkie Pie ruined it. What are you talking about? I got a text from you saying that you didn't want a silent auction. You wanted a big party. Uh, I never sent you a text. You didn't? You don't think she's the one who's been sending me those emails, do you? Every time I volunteer to help with the decorations at a school function, I get an email from Pinkie Pie saying she has plenty of volunteers. And then I find out she's done everything herself. Well, I never sent you any emails. Maybe she's the reason Rainbow Dash didn't show up for my bake sale. Didn't you ever ask Rainbow Dash why she didn't show up? <laughs> I guess I kind of stopped talking to her at all after that. Maybe now would be a good time to start. They're actually talking. That's a good sign. Hugs! Oh, hugs are always good. Somebody, and I think we can all guess who, told Rainbow Dash that my bake sale had been moved to a different day. Dash showed up with all the softball team and thought I'd canceled on her. So you're looking to dethrone Sunset Shimmer and become Princess of the Fall Formal, huh? Gotta say, I'd really love to see that happen. I'll totally help you out. All you gotta do is beat me in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. What? First to five goals wins. One zip! you were gonna pull it off there in the end. <laughs> so, what's the plan? How can I help you be princess instead of Sunset Shimmer? What? I... lost! Of course you lost! I'm awesome! But I'm not gonna help just anybody try and beat Sunset Shimmer. The fall formal princess should be someone with heart and determination. You proved that you got them both. Yeah! <laughs> Oats? Oats? Uh, scratch that. However you normally make it is fine. Oh, we've got to stop bumping into each other like this. You know me. <laughs> Always trying to make a big splash around here. Because my drink kind of splashed on the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna go over there now. Don't even think about it. You're already trying to get a crown. Who knows what Sunset Shimmer would do if you ended up getting her ex-boyfriend too. I'm not trying to. I don't even know. We just accidentally... Ex-boyfriend? Flash Sentry broke up with her a few weeks ago. I can't believe she hasn't done something awful to him yet. Maybe she's just waiting until she has the power to do something really awful. All right, girls. Dance is tomorrow night, and we still don't know how we're going to get Twilight the vote she needs to be named Princess. Right now, folks only know the Twilight from the video Sunset Shimmer posted online. We need to help them see her differently. I mean, um, perhaps I have a solution.
Lucian. Now, this may be an absolutely preposterous idea, but what if we all wore these as a sign of unity? Freshman year, they were very, very popular. A way for everybody to show their school spirit. You know, go, Catalan Wonder Girls! <clears throat> I haven't sold any in ages. I mean, the five of us are obviously very different, but deep down, we're all Catalan Wonder Girls! Sunset Shimmer is the one who divided us, Twilight Sparkle is the one who united us, and we are gonna let everyone know it! What do you think? She's smiling about. Twilight's the one that's gonna be princess of the fall formal. Vice Principal Luna, something terrible has happened. Isn't 
this just awful? And after Pinkie Pie worked so hard to make things so perfect, why would Twilight Sparkle do something like this? Why would you think Twilight was responsible for something like this? Because I have proof. But... but I don't understand. This is clearly you in the photographs, is it not? Yes, but... I think it should be fairly obvious that the school cannot let someone who would do something like this compete for the fall formal crown. Vice Principal Luna, I found these in a trash can in the library. I thought you should see them. Someone obviously combined these photos to make it look like Twilight was the one who trashed the gym. I appreciate you bringing this to my attention, Flash. In light of this new evidence, you may, of course, continue your bid to be crowned the Princess of the Fall Formal. Thank you! You have no idea how important this is to me. <laughs> what was it gonna do? Not prove your innocence? Wouldn't be much of a Canterlot wonder cult, would I? I am afraid enough damage has been done to the gym that we will have to postpone the dance until tomorrow night. If you will excuse me, I need to let my sister know about this latest development. So, uh, I was wondering, if you aren't already going with somebody, want to go to the fall formal with me tomorrow night? That would be... tomorrow night? No, 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 I can't, the portal, that'll be too late. One no would have been fine. Okay, it's not okay at all. If I don't get my crown tonight, I won't be able to go back to Equestria for another 30 moons. Oh, what are we gonna do? Hmm. We tell them the truth. Let them know what's really at stake if you don't get the crown tonight. They'll help us figure something out. But what if they won't? What if when they find out just how different I really am? Twilight, these girls rallied around you because they saw what was in your heart. They aren't going to feel any differently about you when they find out you're a pony princess in Equestria. I'm glad you followed me here, Spike. Me too. Unless, of course, we get stuck here for another 30 moons. You okay? The fall formal isn't happening tonight. <laughs> it had to be postponed because Sunset Shimmer had snips and snails ruin all of Pinkie Pie's decorations. Yes! But the fall formal has to happen tonight. <sighs> you see... You're from an alternate world and you're a pony princess there and the crown actually has a magical element embedded in it that helps power up other magical elements and without it they don't work anymore and you need them to help protect your magical world. And if you don't get the crown tonight, you'll be stuck in this world and you won't be able to get back for like a really, really long time! <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that isn't the reason. Nope, she's pretty much spot on. He can talk? Oh, yeah. And back where I come from, I'm not even a dog. I'm a ferocious, fire-breathing dragon! This is so amazing. Tell me, what are you thinking right now? Mm. Sure would love a scratch behind the old ears. Gah. Uh, maybe later. How did you know all that? Just a hunch. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're a pony? You're a princess? You're from another world? Mm -hmm. That is awesome! Oh, well, what else is that? She told you. I simply cannot believe they did all this. If I only had some kind of party cannon that could decorate everything super fast! I know it seems impossible, but maybe if we all work together? Now that's the kind of can-do spirit I'm looking for in a fall formal princess! Let's do it, y'all! Absolute rock on! Yes, indeed! Yay! It's time for us to come together It's the only way that things will get
Sean, Fall Formal is back on for this evening. Yeah! So you better get out of here and start getting ready. Oh, and don't forget to cast your ballots for Fall Formal Princess on your way out. You got my vote, Twilight. Mine too. Mine too. Mine too. You're lucky she was able to pull this off. Next time I ask you to make a mess of things, try to show a little restraint. I need this formal to go on tonight just as much as she does. I still can't believe we pulled that off. I can. We are awesome. Enough chatter, girls. We need to get ready. We need to look fabulous. This is our big night. Twilight! Look, I know you said no about going to the fall formal with me, but would you reconsider and at least have one dance? I didn't say no. I mean, I did, but I didn't mean no to you. I was... Well, what I mean is... Yes, I'd love to dance with you. I want to say how wonderful everything looks tonight. You all did a magnificent job pulling things together after the unfortunate events of earlier. And now, without further ado, I'd like to announce the winner of this year's Fall Formal Crown. The princess of this year's Fall Formal is... Oh, man, this is so awesome! Twilight Sparkle! Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Twilight. Twilight! Help! Spike? Dream of it. I'm not a monster, Twilight. Let him go. You don't belong here. Give me the crown, and you can go back to Equestria tonight. Or keep it, and never go home. 
Tick-tock, Twilight. We haven't got all night. The portal will be closing on its own in less than an hour. So, what's your answer? No. What? Equestria, your friends, lost to you forever. Don't you see what I'm about to do to the portal? Yes. But I've also seen what you've been able to do here without magic. Equestria will find a way to survive without my element of harmony. This place might not, if I allow it to fall into your hands. So go ahead, destroy the portal. You are not getting this crown. Fine. You win. You are so awesome! Can't believe you were gonna do that for us. It's no wonder you're a real-life princess. Oh, yes, she's so very special. Grab him, you fool! jump through so many hoops tonight just to get my hands on this crown and it really should have been mine all along but let's let bygones be bygones i am your princess now and you will be loyal to me when I said I was going to destroy the portal. I don't want to rule this pathetic little high school. I want Equestria. And with my own little teenage army behind me, I'm going to get it. Uh... No, you're not. Oh, please. What exactly do you think you're going to do to stop me? I have magic, and you have nothing. She has us! <laughs> Gee, the gang really is all back together again! <laughs> now step aside. Twilight has tried to interfere with my plans one too many times already. She needs to be dealt with. <laughs> What? The 
magic contained in my element was able to unite with those that helped create it. Sunset Shimmer, but you cannot wield it because you do not possess the most powerful magic of all, the magic of friendship. What is happening? Here and in Equestria, it is the only magic that can truly unite us all. You will never rule in Equestria. Any power you may have had in this world is gone. Tonight, you've shown everyone who you really are. You've shown them what is in your heart. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know there was another way. The magic of friendship doesn't just exist in Equestria. It's everywhere. You can seek it out. Or you can forever be alone. The choice is yours. But all I've ever done since being here is drive everyone apart. I don't know the first thing about friendship. I bet they can teach you. Those are my girls! Woohoo! Did that dog just talk? Whoa, weird. Seriously? A talking dog is a weird thing about all this? I, for one, think you're adorable. Oh, yeah. I believe this belongs to you. A true princess in any world leads not by forcing others to bow before her, but by inspiring others to stand with her. We have all seen that you are capable of just that. I hope you see it too, Princess Twilight. I do. Yeah! Would now be a completely awkward time to ask you for that dance? for last spring's debacle. I have a feeling she'll be handing out a lot of apologies. 
We better get going. I know we've only been friends for a short time, but I'm gonna miss all of you so much. That crown really does suit you, Princess Twilight. You know what, Spike? I am starting to feel a little more comfortable wearing it. And the wings? I've been walking on two legs and picking things up with these. Wings? I'm thrilled that's all I'll be dealing with back in Equestria. <laughs> Sunset Shimmer. Is she all right? I think she's going to be fine. I left her in good hands. What are hands? Where did you stay? What did they wear? Did you have fun? What'd you eat? Would you say she's just as awesome as me? <sighs> I want to tell you everything. I do. But I'm just so exhausted from all the dancing. Dancing? Whoa. We've got to stop bumping into each other like this. Who is that? He's a new member of the Castle Guard. Flash Sentry, I think. Why? Do you know him? Not exactly. Ooh! Some pony's got a crush on the new guy. No, no I don't. <gasps> she does! She absolutely does! Don't be ridiculous. I don't even know him. He just totally reminds you of a guy you met in the other world who played guitar and was in a band and helped prove you didn't destroy all the decorations for a big dance so you could still run for princess with a big dance and then ask you to dance at that dance? <gasps> right? How did you know that? 